which type of material is best for your footwear. In this video, I'll be discussing four of the most common materials used and the advantages and disadvantages of each. Shoes are an everyday essential. It's very rare that you're caught leaving the house without something on your feet. And these come in all sorts of shapes, sizes and designs. And importantly, they're often made of different materials. Four of the most common types of materials that are used in shoes nowadays are leather, nubuck, suede and fabric. Nubuck and suede being specialized types of leather, if you like, that are made in a slightly different way. But the key thing is that each of these types of materials perform very differently. So which one's gonna be the best option for you and for your lifestyle? That's the point of this video. Let's begin this analysis by looking at what is arguably the most popular material that shoes are made of, and that's leather. Before we get into this one, I do wanna point out there is a big difference in the qualities of leather that you can get on the market. Your sports trainers are never gonna last as long as high quality leather shoes. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna talk about leathers as a bit more of a generalized whole. So what are some of the advantages of leather products? Number one, and the big one for me, is they are generally waterproof. Compared to the other materials on this list, they perform probably the best in wet situations. Also, they don't stain particularly easily, and this can vary by color. So if you've got white trainers, for instance, these are gonna definitely stain worse than other colors of leather, but still not to the same extent as fabric shoes. Also, leather products are relatively easy to keep clean. They don't stain as easily as fabric shoes, for instance, and due to the type of smooth surface, you can often easily wipe them clean. In terms of comfort as well, I find that leather shoes are generally relatively comfortable too. Especially if you've got shoes that are leather lined, you'll find that these don't rip into your feet as much as some of the fabric options. But leather is not by any means the perfect product. It does definitely have some drawbacks. The first being that if you want them to continue to look good, they are a little bit high maintenance. If you want your leather to still look good after a long period of time, you're gonna have to moisturize these shoes. But loads of people don't, so they're left with shoes that look dreadful. Also, the initial price of leather shoes compared to something like suede or fabric, for instance, can be quite a lot higher. Although I find that the added durability that these provide compared to some of the other options on today's list really counteracts this. They often result in a much lower cost per wear. The next material that we're gonna be taking a look at is Nubuck. Now I don't own a great deal of Nubuck shoes. They're not really that easy to get hold of in the UK. However, I do have this uh, slightly ruined pair which have the Nubuck toe. Nubuck is similar to regular leather apart from it has a slightly different texture. Basically the outer layer of the animal skin is used and then sanded down. And this gives you a bit of a halfway house between the leather that I've just mentioned and suede. One benefit of Nubuck is that it retains its structure and solidity a bit better than suede does. It's also slightly better against water, but it still offers a more unique and often considered more premium appearance compared to standard leather or suede. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of Nubuck because it definitely has its own problems. For me, I really find that Nubuck is more difficult to clean than both suede and leather. You can't really wipe these clean to the same extent as you can with regular leather shoes, and there aren't very many useful items that you can use to clean Nubuck actually with. Whereas with suede, I find that the suede brushes do quite a good job of getting most stuff out. Nevertheless, this is often seen as a relatively versatile casual option that's also quite breathable. So what's the difference then between that and suede? Suede is made from a lower layer of hide when you compare it to Nubuck. That layer is then sanded to give the overall almost furry texture of suede. Some of the benefits of this are that you get a final product that looks aesthetically really nice. Suede shoes can often be some of the nicest looking on the market. These are also often incredibly comfortable. They do tend to lack some of the padding that you get in the regular leather shoes, but the flexibility of the material really prevents it from rubbing your feet very much. Nevertheless, I find that often suede shoes have the form over function approach. The big thing for me living here in Europe with suede shoes is it rains a lot. Suede has really poor water resistance. If it's raining outside and you're wearing unprotected suede shoes, 
you're gonna get wet feet. So I definitely recommend getting your hands on some water protecting spray. But it's never gonna be as water resistant as the likes of some of the new books you can get or the regular leathers. And although suede is actually not particularly high maintenance, they can be initially a bit more difficult to clean than other types of shoes. You can't just go trying to wipe stains off these things. And next we move on to the final type of material that I'm gonna include in today's video. And this is one that actually, in a lot of ways, perform similarly to suede and that is fabric shoes and these are tiny <laughs> that's because they're not mine these are my girlfriends and they're absolutely ruined but that really shows some of the downsides of fabric shoes there are certainly some things to be said for the fabric shoe number one is that they come in a huge range of colors and designs due to what they're made of they are far less restrictive when it comes to this compared to the leather-based products also, depending on their construction, these can often be considered as some of the most breathable on the market. So if you're in a hot and sweaty environment, these may be an option. But this really does come with some crippling downsides. And the first one is very visible, even on these shoes, and that is that they stain incredibly easily. They're much more difficult to clean than almost any of the other types of shoes on this list. And if you want to keep them looking good, they are extremely high maintenance. Also, because they're made of fabric, if you're not protecting them, then your feet are going to get absolutely soaked when it rains. And I normally find that the protector sprays that you can get aren't quite as effective on fabric shoes as they are on suede shoes. So if you're in a country like the UK, like where I live, then this is something that you definitely need to consider. And when it rains, these also come with a, a bit of a secondary problem too, which you can see right around the rim uh, of these shoes in question, and that is dye leakage. If you're wearing a pair of jeans and it's pelting down with rain, often you can get dye leakage from them onto your fabric shoes, and it's really difficult to get out. And also, if you've got a shoe that isn't white, maybe it's a, a blue fabric shoe, you can find the actual dye of the fabric leaking, or even fading substantially in direct sunlight. I hate to carry on slating um, fabric shoes, but also, I just find them to probably be the least comfortable option of the ones on this list. So there you go, you've got four different types of shoe materials. Which ones do I recommend? For a typical day-to-day -day shoe, look no further than standard leather. And this is gonna be critically important if you do live somewhere where it rains quite frequently because you don't really have to worry about your feet getting wet inside them. They're generally comfortable, they last a long time, it's a great go-to option. Out of the others on this list, I'd say that, that suede's probably my second favorite. It has its downfalls with regards to water, but I find it to be nice and comfortable. It's a better, slightly more premium alternative to fabric in my eyes. And you still get the great aesthetics of the designs, just like these chucker boots. And if for some reason you actually like some of the shoes I've included in today's video, I will link them in the description below. Now I know that I've included uh, my girlfriend's Converse in this video, but I used to own a couple of pairs of Converse myself. And if you're someone that's actually interested in picking up a pair of Converse, then I'll leave a link in the description to the type of Converse that I personally recommend. The lower cut version of these is probably the most popular that you can find, but the one that I'd recommend is one that has an extra area of padding around the ankle, and it's the same price. Much more comfortable to wear, definitely the one that I'd go for, and the design is just as good. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of different shoe materials. If you have got any questions about any of the shoe materials or any recommendations for yourself, then make sure you pop them in the comment section below. I've worked in the shoe industry myself for several years, so I've got quite a good idea of what to recommend for you guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you press the like button. And of course, if you wanna see some more similar guys to this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell next to it, which will alert you every single time I actually upload a new video. And I will see you on the next one.